industry's busy, they're short, shorthanded, people aren't asking for it, which is partly a knowledge mobilization problem. Some of what we're recognizing is the things that building owners and people care about aren't top priority when, say, a designer looks at what needs to happen in a, in a retrofit. And Do you have examples? I mean, generally, it's the, those health benefits and the opportunity to make sure that there is seismic safety, at least to make sure that people can escape. At the same time, you know, we challenge the teams to think about what are potential additional revenue streams that can be opened by the, by the way that the retrofit is designed. And, you know, for example, a lot of the buildings have um, understory parking. So, I mean, it, it looks somewhat like the buildings are standing on toothpicks because they've just got these simple posts, which obviously isn't great in a seismic active zone. <laughs> and this is a challenge that, you know, everyone from California northward are, are thinking about. And so as the team was imagining, how do we stiffen those you know, those, those posts, those weak spots in the building. They recognize that by putting in, say, shear walls, so the walls that could resist the seismic activity, you're actually starting to close in a space that they could use as additional units. And so in one of the buildings, the solution for the seismic problem became actually an additional revenue stream. And it's that opportunity to open up those, the, that synergistic thinking, um, I think, that really unlocked that.